Alright, now that all the hatus has been dealt with and episode 8 has been out, let's get on with the notes once I find them. <laughs> I probably should have had this prepared earlier. Oh, what do you know? Episode 8, the terror, the terror within. Alright, um, uh, I forgot to put this in the notes, but I'm just going to say um, uh, teams are here. Um, uh, Last time I said I want them just to be pure evil, and I still want that. But I also want, but, I, but let me clarify that. I want a motive. I do want a motive, but I don't want the motive to be like, make them look like they're justified, really. Like, like Amon was just, could, could be seen as justified, you know, like, you know, non-menders feel unequal. Like, that was a justified motive. Unalox was a little bit justified, you know, wanting the spirits, but I want them to have a motive, but it just be, but, but have it be an evil motive. You know, that, I'm just clearing that up, because there, there was a comment on last time that said, um, uh, you know, you know, saying that she wanted, or he, I can't remember who the commenter was, but someone wanted them to be good. So, but on to the, my thoughts for the terror within Legend Korra book, book, or well, as my, my thoughts on <gasps> The Legend of Korra, book three change, episode eight, the terror within. Okay, yeah, first of all, yeah, the Hades the Future Korra, um, uh, you know, it's gonna, it's all gonna, this was the last TV airing, it's all gonna be digital, all on Nick.com and the Nick app, and this was, and it's also gonna be one episode a week instead of the two, and this, I see this as both good and bad, I see this as good, that, because Core Book 3 is going to last longer, now I also see this as bad, because we don't get as much Korra each week. I really did like the one hour special that we got a full hour of Avatar. And it's just so awesome, especially with how great this season is. I mean, it's so good, man. It's like, whoa, my. And with the story arc that's happening, I mean, they've got to, they just have to arch this into book four. I mean, I cannot see this ending abruptly because we're already in episode eight and this is a 13 episode season. Yeah, the Avatar has weird scenes. Like, most shows have 26 seasons, 26 episode seasons. And then this is, ATLA was 20 with the exception of, of book three, which was 21. And then this is, it was 12, 14, 13. I, don't, I have no idea what, what I'm, uh, <coughs> Yeah, and, wait. Oh, yeah, and also, um, a very, very fun fact. This is the 100th episode of Avatar. And, boy, was it great. I actually, because, in spite of the, um, uh, of it being the 100th episode, I gave this one a grade. I gave this one a grade, and you guys are going to figure it out. And boy, did it deliver. It delivered, it delivered, it delivered, it delivered. <laughs> Why am I dancing? I think it was, I heard somewhere that was the 100th episode. I'll have to do the math, but I heard it was 100th episode. So, yeah. Um, uh, is Core going to keep that, you know, the whole, it, it looks like they, like, they did something to keep putting in, like, her little armband that she has. Let me fix the camera. So, is she going to keep that? I, I kind of wanted to keep that. That could be useful. I still love the whole core metal bending thing. And I still want to go to the Bossing Stay Zoo. But Lin has surprisingly got over Eska pretty quickly. I mean, in book two finale, like, Eska, I love you! And, you know, it's talking about, you know, having Eska move to Republic City and everything, so. And, but he seems to get gotten over Eska pretty good. I mean, you know, him with Opal, we've already seen Eska um, in, the, in this one so far. And I hope there's more Eska. And I hope there's also more Zuko, man. Zuko! And, of course, more Janora. That's, that's, that's my one gripe for this episode. No! Janora! How dare you! Janora better get her tattoos. I'm, uh... Uh, 
Oh, Mako, I, I, wait, what's going on over there? I hate sitting over here. Oh, not because of you. <gasps> Is that Mako hate? I used, I'm not anymore, I am not anymore. I used to be a Mako hater. In book two, I was like a big Mako hater. Mainly because of my core, because I'm still abortion. Oh, okay, I'm get, I'm growing, Bopal is growing on me, but come on. Shipping is like super huge in this fandom, and you're making the main character alone? Come on. Mike, Brian, you gotta fix this in book four. So Asami is cool with having with having her airship leave her, her leave her site. Cause she, so yeah, the, the, those employees are gonna party unless op, unless Asami put Opal in charge, which she might have, which she might like. <laughs> All right, so uh, I keep, keep clicking the pen. I'm sorry if it's just annoying you, but I, I have a problem with my hands. I have to be doing anything with my hands. Like, just da 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 dancing, 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 dancing on with the note oats. Uh, <laughs> smart. Wait, what does it say? Smart to me. Start smart. Oh, whoa. Teams are here. That was smart to bring the train collider, especially especially for Naga, because uh, Naga's been um uh, pretty good before, especially on Tano. Oh man, that was beautiful in book one. Hate the episode because it's all centered around the love triangle, well, except for you know the Bora. But I mean that part, you know, I like go ahead. I'll let you have the first go blow. I I can't whistle like that, so. Um, uh, and of course, you know, for Korra too, because she's a, she's an aggressive avatar. That's why Firebending, well, surprisingly not, not hard for her, because she is very, pe very aggressive. You know, like a firebender needs to be. Which is also why airbending was not her forte. Let's see here, where am I in the notes? Pajamas. <gasps> Bohen, Asami, and Mako fighting in pajamas. That was hilarious. <laughs> I think it's funny. Like, but it also just shows that these guys, they're ready. They can take you on anywhere, anytime, no matter what the circumstances. Like, they're in the pajamas. I'm getting up. You got my friend. I'm getting up, and I'm fighting you. I don't know who I'm supposed to imitate. They're, I guess, Asami. Even though I tell nothing like Asami then. I tell nothing like any of them. Uh... I've created a top four list for teams I hear. Now I love them all. They're all just so great. But this is my top this is my top four. Number four. Plea. Sparky Sparky Boom Girl. Yes, Plea is awesome. She is Sparky Sparky Boom Girl. And she might possibly be related to Zula. She's my, she, she, but she's not, but the other three I like more. Zahir, Minkwa, and Gazan. He is a lava bender. How can you not love Gazan? The only other person we've seen lava bend is unnamed Fire Avatar. Who's a great avatar, by the way. He, he, he's one of my favorite avatars. Alright, this is going to be a long one. Uh, don't do what I did. I missed a little, a little bit of it. The... When I was taking the notes, because that's why I said I didn't put this in the notes, but I'm saying this now, and I had the same the same problem last week. Don't try to watch Achievement Hunter and Korra at the same time, because you're gonna miss out. Because Achievement Hunter is just too awesome. It's like, like um uh, in the Titanic video, um uh the how how Titanic should have ended. It was the 100th Hizzy. So um uh oh this wasn't on YouTube. It was on the Hizzy blog. Daniel, he wrote down like a 100 tips, and one of them was don't watch Doctor Who while animating. <laughs> My tip for you is don't watch Achievement Hunter when watching Korra. <laughs> but still, I mean, uh, that Megatars, it's a pretty interesting, um, uh, let's play. It didn't say part one, so I was like, man, these guys are like taking forever on the Obsidian. How are the gold box just gonna be like, like that? And 
I think Jack's going to win. Jack wins a lot. I'm pulling for Ray or Michael, though. I'm pulling for Ray or Michael. Gavin has a good, pretty good shot at winning, too. Jeff, well, Jeff, Jeff, whenever Jeff can participates, he wins. Because Jeff is awesome like that. Ryan, I wouldn't mind Ryan winning. You know, Ryan, I don't think Ryan has won in a little while, so. I'm, I'm getting off topic here. Back to core, back to core. Um, uh. Oh. <clears throat> Pressure on Bolin, like, Bolin, like, Bolin can do it. I, I can. I, and you'll, and you'll deliver shot. I will. <laughs> like, okay, yeah, Bolin time. Bolin time. <laughs> And then, tiny rock. Right, I don't know what Channing did it with, and you know what? I dropped my pen. That's what. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh my gosh, the still I'm just loving the teams of here theme. It's like it's kind of also the team the theme for Core Season Three. Like they took a little different change in the music, like like dun 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 it's just great. I love it so much. <clears throat> I think it's also the th music they did for the trailer. Yeah, the first one. That's the second. They only had two trailers. The first one and the second one. The first one was. Oh my gosh! It was so breathtaking. Um. Uh, <clears throat> I knew it was Iwe. I knew it was Iwe. And Iwe, you were way too obvious. I can't remember what Ver called them, the Obsidian Rocks, you know, because, you know, when Gazan, when Z not Gazan, when Zaheer, you know, blew all that air around Gazan's lava, it made Obsidian. I don't know, remember what he called them, but it's Obsidian, and I kind of wrote Obsidian, and then N in French, because I didn't remember the Obsidian, and then I'm a northwest corner of the map. Gosh, I'm not going to stop with the Achievement Hunter, am I? And remember... This goes cool. Season 2 reference with Varric and Mako. <laughs> and I love that. I love that scene. That, I, and I'm, um, you know, like, I, I planted on, and, on, and I blame someone else and planted in their apartment. Like what you did to me. Exactly! That worked great, didn't it? Well, I mean, not for you, but. I uh, then. <laughs> still love the line. <clears throat> Let's see if I can play it. Cora, who warned you about Unalak? I did. Bolin, who got you into the movers? I did. Asami, who saved your company? I did. Bako, who got you thrown in jail? I did. Oh wait, that was a bad thing. <laughs> Varric is great. Not as great as Janora, but he's great. But, you know, Janora, so... Scarfus Mako is still hard to get used to. It's like, oh man, it's just so hard. It's why did he have to give it to Jin? Or well, in this case, Grandma Jin. You know. Yeah, since uh, what happened in the promise, I was actually thinking the Jin code might happen, but apparently that's not the case. Unless Mako and Bolin are are part of the Fire Nation Wall family, and they just don't know it. Nah. <laughs> they, they don't look anything like Iro, so uh, yeah, no. Asami. Now, General Starchild. Uh, Emergency Awesome hasn't really said anything about it, but General Starchild, he is all over Asami. He had key. He doesn't call Asami a member of Team Heart. He calls her an honorary member. Now I can see why, but I just. I too just really can we get us some more Asami character development? I mean I know that, you know, the whole love channel that's out that's out the window. That's you see this window? The love triangle's out there. So um uh which is great. It's great. But um uh, we we really only got some strong Asami in the premiere, so I really want some more strong Asami. Um Iwe was very smart when he, you know, setting that rig up and having the, all that whole, that whole escaping plan done, that was just perfect. I just, what I think is still stupid is, like, the whole, like, nose ring 
chain. Like that was just weird. But when like 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 uh, we we knocked on the door. We thought we heard you say, like, oh come in, I'm in the bathroom. And we came in, but we didn't find you here. And why am I saying this? I know you're lying. You know I'm lying, and you don't even sound like that. That sounds like something I would say so much. I I told you guys, I if I were, if my life were a TV show, if my family's life was a TV show, I would be a comic relief character. So yeah, like I said, I ran to a freaking glass door. Who does that? Both Cora and Lynn have good points when they were arguing. You know, saying like, "Don't like, like, don't lecture me on jobs." Saying like, "It's my job to hunt them down." Like, Zaheer, Team Zaheer is obviously very dangerous, but you know, it's also Cora's job to save him. And well, you know, can't can't bring her back to Republic City. President Raiko banished her. <gasps> You know, you know, it's a democracy, but... <laughs> um, uh, but yeah, they were both making very good points, and gosh darn it, Sue, I was like, good, Sue, good, you're signing with your, you're supporting your sister, I like that. And then, you really think Nagin can track, can track them? Go get them. Uh, and then, you know, when they're going out there, I love that. It was a mixture between book three and co classical core. You know, like, you know, the dun 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 like, what's that? What's the core music? I'm trying to think of the classical core music. I I da na 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 You know that they mix that. Be oh man, I need to get like a core soundtrack, especially for book three. Well, sixty minutes. That's the longest of my thoughts ever. Yeah, is this gonna be a butt to upload considering the ten minute ones take a while? Thirty one stop.